Hello everybody, my name is Cyberwolf and welcome to Bonnie's Bakery. So this is a cute little game where, well, you're just running a little bakery. Um, I think there's a little story to it. Yep. Bonnie sweeps the floor and dusts the windows. Today is going to be another big day. Customers are already making a line outside her bakery. She opens the door and they all scamper in. She looks at the crowd with a warm smile. A regular customer pops out of the crowd and gives Bonnie a friendly pat on the back. Hey Bonnie, old friend. I have an event coming up and I'd like to bake one of your famous red velvet cakes. You wouldn't mind sharing the recipe with, with little old me now, would you? Oh dear, you're so Oh, Bear, you're so silly. A master chef never reveals her secret recipe. The two laugh heartedly. <laughs> Alright then, I'll stop bothering ya. Just like that. Bear sits down with the rest of the customers. Phew, looks like this is time to get baking. Alright, welcome to Bonnie's Bakery. Help Bonnie serve her hungry customers by serving up some tasty pastries. Oh, I see Bear has already sat down. Let's see what he wants today. Is that red velvet cake? Oh, red velvet cake. What a good choice. Alright, let's start baking then. I should click on the prep station to bring it up. <laughs> All right, baking time. Oh dear, how do I make red velvet again? I should check my recipe book. All right, red velvet. Put these items into the stand mixer. Flour, sugar, milk, eggs, fat, and red. <laughs> and red, okay. Pour the batter into the cake tin. Bake in the oven, done. Okay. Start dragging the ingredients into the stand mixer. Where'd the, oh thank God. Okay, I immediately forgot. Flour, sugar, milk, eggs. Flour. Well, that was sugar. Flour. Milk. Eggs. Fat. And red. Great, now to mix it up. Now to pour it into the cake tin. And now we bake it. Okay. Nice, instantaneous baked goods. Okay, time to click on Bear and hand this over. All right. Yes, another customer well served. It's a good thing Bear is the first customer, so I could serve him first. I know a lot of cu customers run out of okay. patience. Well, the day is just getting started. Time to really get to work. Bye. See you later, Bear. Oh. oh, I can probably make some other things while I'm waiting for customers. Let's see. I can just drop what I make on uh, one of these plates and save it for later. Okay. I guess I'll just make something random for now. Off to the prep station. Let's see, what could we make? Uh, white donuts. Uh, flour, sugar, milk, eggs, and fat. Flour, sugar, milk, eggs, and fat. And I just noticed that there's meat here, but it's spelled with two E's. Interesting. Um, mix it up. Uh, put the dough on the cutting board. Okay. Roll out the dough. Okay. Uh, cut the dough with the circle cutter. Nice. Already making shape. Um, bake in the oven. Sprinkle some white. Bake. Sprinkle white. Yay! Oh, oh gosh, that was quick. Ah, oh, they okay. want a meat bun. Okay, I'll go make that now. Meat bun, meat bun. Um, flour, milk, and eggs. Okay. Flour, milk, and eggs. No sugar for this one. Mix it up. Bring some meat to the cutting board. Let me just chop it. There we go. Okay. Um, bring the dough to the cutting board. Um, bake in the oven. Okay. Yay, the koal mouse thing is happy with their meat bun. All right, let's keep this up. You want a pastry. All right, flour, sugar, and fat. Flour, 
sugar, and fat. Easy peasy. What's next? Put the dough on the cutting board. All right. And then roll out the pastry. Uh, put fat on it? That's an interesting choice. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Here you go. Another be meat bun. Flour, milk, and eggs. Eggs, right? Eggs? Flour, milk, eggs, yeah. Mix that. Put that there. And then bake in the oven. There we go. Getting good at this. I know how to make, I know how to make things now. All right. Flour, milk, eggs. Easy enough. Chop it up. Throw the dough on. Throw it in the oven. There we go. Yeah. Let's do this. Here comes the lunch rush. Time to get serious. Meat bun. Meat bun. All right. Lunch rush. Oh my god. All right. Oh girl. Okay. Just gotta get things going. People really want a lot of meat buns, even though like uh, I, I feel like maybe a lot of these aren't really like the kind of creatures that be eating meat. Seems a little odd. Um, okay, and then whoop, and whoop. Want a pastry? Okay, you get a pastry then. Um, flour, sugar, and fat. Was that it? Flour, sugar, fat? Flour, m no. Flour, sugar, and fat, yes. Okay, flour, sugar, and fat. Let me do this, roll it out, throw some fat on top, throw it in the oven, boom. Okay, I'm getting really good at this. <laughs> All right, flour, sugar, milk, eggs. Does this one have fat? Fat and red. Just like... Just like, uh, St. Nick. Bake. Oh my god. You people are so impatient for... a cake. Like, I swear. It's a freaking cake. It takes a little while. Calm down. Flour, milk, eggs. I've gotten really good with these meat buns. I know the entire recipe by heart now. <laughs> oh man. Another cake. Red, flour, sugar, fat, eggs, milk. Mix it up. Put it in the cake tin. Bake it. And then bam. Meat bun. Meat bun for the little squirrel. You got it, little squirrel. That's flour, sugar, or er, flour, milk, and eggs. Need to dice up the meat. Throw it in the oven. Boom, there we go. That is all yours, my little squirrel friend. All right, for the dog, we got another red velvet cake. Flour, sugar, fat, eggs, milk. Put it in and put it, pop in the oven. There we go. Boom. All right, another puppa wants a, wants a red velvet cake. I guess red velvet cake is just the thing for dogs. Even though I'm pretty sure red velvet cake is supposed to have chocolate. Very interesting choice for them. Wait, which one's first? Okay, meat buns. Meat buns first. For the sneaky raccoon in the corner. Boom. Alright, need the pastry. Uh, flour, sugar, fat. 
Um, pop it onto the thing, roll it out, get some fat on there, throw it in the oven, boom. There we go. Um, flour, milk, eggs. Chop, chop. Gotta get to it quick. Is the lunch rush almost over? I swear to God, it feels like it's been forever. Who's here first? Okay. The little goat at the table. Um, flour, sugar, milk, eggs, and fat. Okay. Flour, sugar, milk, eggs, fat. Mix it up. Throw it onto the cutting board. Do that. Do that. Was it throw on white now, or was that the end? Uh, bake in the oven and put it white on it. Oh, there we go. Donut. Need to do that again. Shit, I'm running out of time. Flour, sugar, eggs, fat, milk. I can only do so much so quickly. All right, there we go. Lunch rush is almost over. Who's first? Meat bun. Oh, thank God it's over. I was about to run out of time there. Phew, all done. Good work out there today, Bonnie. Looks like you had a nice and steady pace going. I bet your stock's half empty now. Yup, slow and steady as they say. I'm glad you opened the bakery. It's nice to have a place to relax and take my mind off things. I never knew we lived in such a dangerous neighborhood. It's so scary, people are disappearing without a trace. Almost as if they've been erased. It's definitely been scary. Safe out, stay safe out there, Barry. Bear. You too, Bonnie. See you around. Of course. Bear leaves as Bonnie cleans up the bakery. Now then. It's been a busy day. <laughs> Time to get some fresh ingredients. <laughs> Certainly have been a lot of meat pies or meat 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 dump. What the fuck? Hello? We're lucky. It looks like she took someone else for now. You. You can still move. Take your chance while she's distracted with the other one. Don't look so grim. Especially since you have a chance to escape. You're so fresh. You still have all your wits about you. Among other things. Listen to me. Find Bonnie's notes and save yourself. She's hidden the key code. But if you can decipher it, you can escape through that door. Use Waz to move! And those fresh legs of yours to sprint with shift. Don't let her see you. Don't let her hear you. If she sees you, come back here. Bonnie's much kinder to the complaint ones. Good night and good luck. What the fuck <laughs> just happened? Bonnie? Okay, I don't know where she went. That's a big thing of meat. A lot of meat. Uh, the first day I opened the bakery was the happiest day of my life. I was nervous uh, that there wouldn't be any customers, but eight people came in to eat. It looked like they did, didn't enjoy what I made, but maybe it's just the nerves talking. Yeah, it's just the nerves. Week four of having the bakery and things aren't getting better. That poor bunny, I spent two hours trying to heal the injuries, but it's only getting worse. She keeps getting more and more anxious. I'm trying my best, but it's not enough. I hope she can get better soon. I'm going to try. Aw, oh, shoot. I forgot the name of the movie. But this... This reminds me a lot of... I... I... I can't remember the name for the life. Oh my god, what happened to your arms, bud? 
I hope Bonnie had a good day today. Don't look at me like that. You've never been down here during one of Bonnie's bad days. Her voice from upstairs is always so high-pitched and sweet, but we know when the bakery hasn't done too well, no one makes it out unscathed. I'm gonna die. Did she just punched me to death? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Bonnie sweeps the floor. Today is going to be another big day. Customers are already making a line outside her bakery. And scampers in and looks at the crowd. Uh, how about you make uh, one for me to take home? Cake for you to take home? Hmm, never thought of doing takeouts before. That sounds like a good idea. Yes, Bear, I'll bake you a red velvet cake to take home. And you know what? Since you're my number one customer, I'll use my freshest ingredients to make that cake. I mean, I would hope you're using fresh in freshest ingredients anyways. Ending one of five. Fresh ingredients. Okay then. Oh, sweet! It restarts me here. Oh, thank goodness. Do I still have all the notes? No, I gotta recollect them. Okay. I don't know where she is. Ooh, I can jump. That's handy. Ooh. Can't let her see me. I wish I could see anything. Oh, that's loud. We're gonna avoid that now. Another note over here. Alright, let's see if I can make it back over here. I need to... Hopefully... Have the right thing. I don't know what to do. I don't have number five. I spent seven hours training. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. No! Oh, she's right there! <laughs> I get it now! They're hidden! In the notes. All right, yeah, 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 I got it. Ending, ending one of, ending one of five. I got it. The freshest ingredients. Cause I am sure I'm fresh. All right, return. I seem to get through here quickly. Could you not? There she is. She's going into that little spot over there. And she's gonna come out. So far, I have one. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I'm in the cage, so I should be good, right? One, six, eight, seven. 
Uh, it's been five weeks now. I decided to open the bakery after a customer walked into my shop and asked what uh, what that wonderful smell was. The only thing I prepared today uh, were the buns. Uh, excuse me. Okay, kind of expected that being in the cage would be like okay. I'd be safe. I was not. <laughs> But I still am trying to find where note number two is. I haven't found that yet. Alright, just grab what I can right now. Thank you. Yikes. How do I get out of here? Okay. Okay, she went over there. She's stuck or something. What? Bonnie, no! Bonnie, no! It's cool, Bonnie, we cool. Okay. This should be a good hiding spot. I'm missing two and three. Should be safe in here, right? This is where we started. Alright, you know, I'm just gonna run for it. Should be safe. You know, it's never really hurt. Ooh! Okay, so, it's a few options. We got five. It is definitely changing each time. Five, six, yeah, five, six, four, eight. Uh, he called in eight other friends to eat at the bakery. They enjoyed the buns so much, he said that he'd tell more people about my rest, my establishment. Yes, my dream is finally coming true. Five, something, six, four, eight. Five, six, four, eight. Five, uh, six, four, eight. Five, two, six, four, eight. Five, three, six, four, eight. Oh, yeah! Woo! <laughs> Brute force for the win. We escaped. You escaped from Bonnie's Bakery, finally free from what horrifying place. Nothing can erase those terrible smells and the screams from your memories. Nothing you have to tell the townsfolk, uh, Nothing. You have to tell the townsfolk about Bonnie's crimes. The townsfolk were shocked to hear your tale. Some were in denial, while the others trembled in fear. How could it be? The food they had been eating all this time is... 
The mob surrounded the bakery, demanding to reveal, demanding Bonnie to reveal herself. They broke down the door, and their eyes scanned the interior with bit with bated breaths. They searched the bakery from head to toe, but found no one. Bonnie was gone, and never seen again. Ending two of five. Escape. Whew. Well. I don't... I don't know what else there could be. Cool. Uh, so that was Bonnie's Bakery. Um... That, that definitely... Definitely took a... Definitely took a twist. I forgot... I forgot the Johnny Depp movie that... <laughs> that's basically like... Uh, I wonder if there's another version where, uh... Bonnie throws herself into the furnace. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to play this game for yourselves, the link is going to be down in the description down below. If you happen to get the other endings, let me know. Because I, I, the only other way I can think to really do this game any different is to just mess up during that first part where you're baking things. Uh, uh, excuse me. But anyways, let me know what you thought of this game down in the comments down below. Sweeney Todd, that was it. Sweeney Todd. <laughs> um, let me know what you thought of this game down in the comments down below. Um, and if you are thinking of maybe you want to play this game too. Um, please give this video a like. Please, friends, and don't forget to subscribe. On and we're out. This is Cyberwolf, signing off.